I'm really excited to show you guys the baby's nursery <laughs> um, for the first time. Um, we finally have everything cleaned up and organized and where it needs to go and so um, while it's very simple there is not a lot of decoration or anything like that just because I feel like as he grows we'll probably change it as he has his own interests and things like that. Uh, but I'm really excited to show you guys everything about this room. Um, so if you're into anything baby related, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button below. But otherwise, let's just get right on into it. start with this little bookshelf um, I just put a few of Everest's toys and books on here like building blocks and some books that some friends and family have given us um, and this cute little red wagon with some blocks in it as well um, I figured we'd gather more things as he got older so I wanted to wait to buy baskets and organizers until we had more stuff to fill them um, and then this beautiful crib we got off of bit FTA I do believe it's a baby Leto from Pottery Barn, uh, but we got a great deal on it, and I just loved the wood spindles um, with the contrasted white color. I thought it was really pretty, um, and we had a friend get a, this, this little blanket with mountains on it that matched the mural, and I just fell in love with it. I'm hoping to take um, the little baby home from the hospital in it, and it is reversible, but I just like the mountain side the best because <laughs> it matches the theme of the room. Um, I put some cotton sheets inside of here from Amazon. I just wanted to keep it really simple. We have a plain gray one as well to switch out as needed when he starts using the crib. And then we also got this little glider from BitFTA as well. I thought the texture on it was really pretty. I originally wanted an ottoman to go with our glider, um, but we just couldn't find one. And so this is the one that we found and I really liked it. So we just kind of kept it simple with just the, auto the, just the um, glider. And then this is the mural and how it came out. Um, it's really pretty. I thought the faux watercolor look was just beautiful and I really wanted it to kind of fade into like a deep blue. So the board and batten color that I chose would just look really natural. Um, but I just love how it turned out. I think it's really simple but really pretty. Um, and then I love how the matte color of this board and batten came out. It was a I think the color Signature by Magnolia Paint. Um, I just thought it was so pretty how it faded into the mountains really, really nicely. And then on the next corner of this room, we just have a basket of blankets, um, a diaper bag that we will inevitably use at some point, um, and then the diaper pail that we got as a gift off of our registry. You'll see I kept the colors of the walls pretty neutral and gray just because I wanted to keep it simple and easy to switch out as he gets older. We got this dresser uh, um, from Pottery Barn and we added little details here and there. So this is his little hospital bag <laughs> and it has some clothes in it for when we bring him home. is his changing pad it's like a faux suede and it, you can easily wipe it down with just a wipe which is nice and then this is his little diaper pail of things <laughs> and I just stocked it with newborn diapers some wipes and lotion and diaper balm for now I'm not really sure what I'll need and so I kept everything in here really simple and I'm sure it'll be stocked full by the time he gets here as we figure things out as to what he needs when he doesn't need and things like that some floating shelves we got off of Amazon. I just wanted a place to store some more books and plants and things like that in here. And then we 
also keep my husband's um, dresser in this room just because we do have a small house so we didn't have a ton of room for all of his clothes in our room <laughs> so we have this dresser in here um, and it fits nicely in this little window it's kind of tucked back so it's not in the way and lastly I just went ahead and added some photos of um, Alex and I from our maternity shoot and then an um, Everest's 20 week ultrasound photo as well. I just wanted to decorate the wall right when you walk in with some quote unquote family photos for now. <laughs> I thought they turned out really pretty. enjoyed this little walkthrough with me um, I'm not sure when I'll be making another video as this week is my due date but I'm expecting to go over so um, my next video will probably be about Christmas decor or a new mom newborn or teen or something along those lines so if you like newborn um, or mama content make sure you hit the subscribe button below because um, I'll probably be making a lot more videos like that but if you like home decor and lifestyle videos too I'll still be making those as well but thanks for hanging out with me I was so happy to have you here um, but otherwise I will see you next time and I'll have a great few weeks <laughs>